What is real? We are told in A Course in Miracles, nothing real can be threatened, and nothing unreal exists. This means that anything that has a beginning and an ending, from a soap bubble to a universe, is not real. Through it all ancient spiritual texts and quotes from masters, sages, gurus, etc., this same concept is echoed, and it's true, but it's also not true. There are many contradictions or divine dichotomies as we move from dreaming to total conscious awareness, and this is perhaps the most fundamental of them all. It can cause great stress, even depression, for one seeking spiritual freedom, but there's really no reason to despair. We're told that the world or universe is an illusion, a dream, Leela, the divine play, and this is also true. But here is where the question comes in. If all is one, and there is nothing outside one, then where is the dream or illusion? It must be an aspect of one. The dream is a holographic projection on the screen of consciousness that we, as one, have stepped into and identified with as who we are in the sense of our conditioning, that is, attachments, expectations, and identities. When we leave the body-mind, the dream ends. It's like going to a movie and becoming so engrossed in it that we become a part of the story temporarily and may even take a shadow of the energy in the movie with us for some minutes or even hours after we leave the theater. This holographic projection, temporary as it is, is real in the sense of space and time. It is an aspect of the one, because there's nothing else it could be. It is happening, happened, and then ceases to happen, so it is both real and an illusion since it can be threatened. It is not a mistake that one or God created. It was the way God could know itself, from nothingness to somethingness, and, done unconsciously, much like going to a movie without reading the book beforehand. Later, the one awakens within the dream, and the suffering associated with the inevitable pain of having a dream body ceases, because the concept of victims dissolves in the awakened state. The Leela play then becomes a real playground for us, and this is what's occurring throughout humanity now a planetary awakening from unconscious awareness of the dream to being consciously aware within the dream. It's a wonderful moment to be here in the dream illusion called planet Earth. We only need surrender to this awakening so that we can play fully and totally enjoy.